We have officially landed. You made it. How was the flight? You made it. Uh, it was good. I was sleeping for the best week of my life. I was watching, what is that show called? Love is Blind, the new season. Sorry, and. <laughs> I only watched half of the first episode and then I watched the rest of uh, Big Mouth season five. So, anyway, we're about to go through customs and go to the resort. We made it! We made it. Cancun, here we come. We have our bathroom, double vanity. Here's a, a look at some of the toiletries that they offer. Towel rack for bathing suits and towels to dry. Shower. And, uh-oh. The bathroom, or the toilet, I should say. This is where you would put your dirty plates and dishes um, as you get them from like room service. In your beautiful closet. We've got my wedding dress hanging up. We love it. And then here is the room itself. Let me zoom out so you guys can get a better picture. So this is the mini bar situation. We've got an espresso, which I love. Little refrigerator fully stocked with juice, beer, wine, little snacks. And the bar up top. And from my knowledge, uh, we're staying on the excellent side, so you can make requests for different um, liquors if you don't like those. The lounge area. These are our little welcome gifts that they gave us. Some fruit, sparkling wine, flowers, a little note. They put Mr. and Mrs. Thomas, which is funny because that's not his last name. We've got the little plunge pool over here. And of course, my favorite part, the outside area. Gorgeous. I've stayed at this resort before and we literally got the same room because it's that pretty. Love it. And this time we are right across from like the juice bar, which is either going to be amazing or not amazing, but I think everything's going to be amazing this week. So, yep. So here's a room tour, guys. Okay. So the lighting isn't great. I mean, actually, the lighting is good looking this way, but like looking this way. I don't know. Anyway, so we have just chilled for like maybe the last hour and a half or so. Like I took a shower, I freshened up, I look alive again. So I just got bug spray, 10 out of 10. Love this resort, but you need bug spray. So I just doused myself in bug spray as a perfume basically. And let me show you my outfit of the day really quick. So this is the outfit of the day. It's just a little simple romper. It's um, a halter top, super cute. Anyway, I think we're about to go to dinner. So let's go check out the eats.
day two and we have stopped at Seaside which is the um, finest and excellent breakfast so we're getting some breakfast right now and then we have um, our meeting with our wedding coordinator she is so sweet she met us at the door yesterday I gave her a big old hug because I'm like I finally get to meet you in person she's been like really really sweet and really easy to communicate with so we are going to go over all of our final details for the wedding and then my cousin Tim he had like a free check bag so he took the bag with a lot of our decor and stuff so when he lands today um, we'll take that luggage and bring it back to our wedding coordinator so she'll have all of the things that she needs um, for the welcome party ceremony and reception so yeah so far everything has been really awesome customer service is like out of this world and the food has been really good we love this resort we've but like, we've been here before so um how do you feel Good. Yeah. Definitely good. Uh, having a good time, starting to see people come in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of my friends came yesterday. Uh, a lot coming today. Family coming Thursday. So. Yep. So it's been great so far. So I am going to be a good girl and save you all's ears in these next few clips because all of my bridesmaids and friends and family started arriving. So I'm pretty much screaming the whole time. That's my maid of honor. This is another one of my bridesmaids and her husband that had just arrived. And then another bridesmaid, my great aunt, my little cousins all arrived. That's Tim, the cousin who had my luggage. So I was very happy to see him. So on this day, like I said, mostly everyone was arriving. So we pretty much just chilled, ate, relaxed, uh, continued to explore the resort. And that was pretty much it. So in the evening, we also decided to go to the Asian restaurant at the resort, and it is so delicious. It was probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite restaurant at the resort. And they did like an impromptu show, which was completely unexpected. Like I said, I've been to this resort before, and I do not remember that from last time. Um, we didn't do hibachi this night. We actually did that the very last night we were there. So if you are interested in doing a hibachi, just know that that is the one and only uh, restaurant I believe that you need a reservation for. So make sure you do that because the hibachi is really delicious as well. Good morning, guys. We are on day three. It is Thursday. It's welcome party day, AKA also the day that a lot of my family and friends come in town. And one of my bridesmaids just made it here. So I'm trying to find her before she finds me basically, but let's see. So just for reference for brides that are planning their destination wedding and they are doing like planned events during that time, I arrived on Tuesday and this is now Thursday, the day of the welcome party. And as you can see, I think we had literally like 60 guests arrive this day um, that was the last big chunk of people and then we had you know maybe 30 ish more people kind of like straggle in on friday and even on saturday um, so this is just getting ready for the welcome party quick little shot to push me through the day because trust me when you have that many people all there for you it can definitely get overwhelming so take time for yourself that is my number one tip we made it. I 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 made it. Okay, guys. Quick update. We are ready for the all white party. I'm gonna show you my outfit in a quick second. We have a really, really big wedding. Well, a big wedding for a destination wedding. We've got 106 guests and a crap ton of people checked in today. So I have not picked up the camera at all, but I'm ready, we're rushing. Our welcome party starts at seven and I think it's like 6.50. We should have been at the main lobby like 10 minutes ago, but it's fine. <laughs> we're on our way now. Okay, so I will show you guys the setup and how the all-white party slash welcome party turns out. Quick OOTD and go. 
My room is a mess. I've had several family members in here today as they waited for their room to be ready. But this is my O Polly dress. We love her. She's a size two, she's perfect. And then we did some glittery sandals from Stephen Madden, Steve Madden, sorry. And groomsmen in the background. But we are ready to go, let's do this. I've got my beautiful, I'm sorry, my handsome groom with me. Handsome, handsome. Handsome, handsome. You're beautiful though, babe. Thank you, love you. It's, uh, it's mine. <laughs> So we are headed to the gold bar and we're about to a party. Everybody that we love and care about is here. Best week ever. Future bride, don't let shit stress you out. This is the best time of your life. Just live it. We've got the father of the bride here. What do you have to say? Love you, baby doll. I love you. <laughs> Turn up. touch bases with you guys but today is Friday and today is the day of the rehearsal dinner and obviously the rehearsal I've got my handsome groom here I've got my room is a mess trying to not show you guys that my beautiful bridesmaid and we are about to head downstairs to the gold bar to get situated and tomorrow is the big day I don't think it's hit me yet has it hit you? No, it hasn't. Y'all, I feel like I need a whole story time. We started with nine groomsmen. We are down to like seven. So I definitely breezed over this statement, but we started off with nine groomsmen and nine bridesmaids. We were definitely down to seven groomsmen the day of the wedding. I kind of just breezed over it because at this point it was the night before the wedding and it's like, are you gonna cry and sulk about you know, the current situation or move on. And that's what I decided to do. Uh, one of the groomsmen was in a really bad jet skiing accident. And another one is literally a whole story within itself, but everything worked out. So just keep pushing brides. We should have a whole story time on it. But anyway, first things first, rehearsal, rehearsal dinner. And then what are your, what are your plans for the rest of the night after dinner? Like, what are you gonna do? Um. I don't know, whatever the night takes us to get something to eat. Babe, um, you need to be like refreshed for tomorrow, so don't do too much. Yeah, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna chill tonight. I'm done with any activity, <laughs> yeah. Huh? I know, I just don't want him to like be sleepy or... Either I don't... way it go, my boy gonna be at the damn altar, okay? He gonna be at the altar. He gonna be at the altar. <laughs> anyway, so he'll be at the altar. But I don't want him out in these streets tonight, out in these Cancun streets, AKA the resort. Yeah. I don't want him there, but anyway, let me show you guys my OOTD for my rehearsal dinner. I love this dress. I kind of hated it, but now I like it. So let me show you how it looks. Okay, so this is the dress. It's like very flowy. Usually anyone who knows me, usually I do like super fitted things, but I feel like this is very bridal and romantic looking. I like the the arms, the sleeves, I don't know. Anyway, this is from Fashion Nova. My shoes are from some random little store in the mall. They're clear, they go with everything. So yep, I will catch you guys later on tonight. I still need to write my vows and do like beauty stuff. So there's there's plenty more. We've got another bridesmaid, she's walking. Was that a We've got another maid of honor. 
my voice. That's terrible. <clears throat> it's wedding day. I'm trying to get some tea. I didn't do any screaming last night. I don't know where my voice is. I slept amazing. Let's just say a prayer that my voice comes back before the ceremony, because I sound a little, a little, little raspy. A little raspy this morning. But we are headed to go get some coffee and I really want to go take a sneak peek at our venue for the reception because they were literally up building this massive tent and floors and lights up until like four o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm excited. It is absolutely beautiful this morning. So I've gotten a ton of questions on this vendor and I used total tents. The total cost for the tent and the lights and the flooring came up to, I believe, $6,300 and that is not including the outside vendor fees. They were amazing, 10 out of 10 recommend. So if you were ever wondering how the week of your wedding will look like as a destination bride, I think this is a pretty accurate depiction of it. So the morning of my wedding actually went pretty slow. As you can see, I really tried to take in all of the little moments. I spent time with my bridesmaid. I wrote my vows and, you know, we just did little things like steam the robes. We had breakfast. I ate a full breakfast. I am not one of those brides who regretted not eating. I ate pretty much the entire day and I think it really helped with the nerves. Um, and from here, I got my hair done at one spa. I know a lot of brides are kind of nervous to use them. I think they did a great job on my hair. She was super patient. I would just allow them as much time as they need so they don't need to rush. I went against a lot of people's advice and did my own makeup, which trust your gut because I love how the look came out the day of the wedding. And just like that, wedding day and wedding week is over. I am now a married woman and I cannot wait to share with you guys the actual wedding day video. So stay tuned. If you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.